Well, if that ain't the best cup that I've ever had. Hey guys, this is my review for Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, and this is pretty much the best Spider-Man movie ever made. There is so much to talk about with this movie. I'm gonna try and narrow it down in terms of what is so good about this movie. The hype that everyone is saying is real. The animation is unfucking believable It is amazing. This is probably one of the best animated movies I've ever seen in terms of how this film visually displays its story. When all the other Spider-Men come into the film, they all have their own distinct, unique animation style. And amongst that, with the variations of color, the characters, with, and how the music molds into the animation, and the entire end climax, I'm gonna give a massive pat on the back to the entire animation department. They deserve so much credit for making this movie look phenomenal. It feels phenomenal just watching it. I watched it in a normal theater and I'm probably gonna try and see it in IMAX again because it was incredible to watch. Along with the amazing animation, the story is fantastic. The film follows Miles Morales as he is inducted into the new Hall of Spider-Man and we find out that the Kingpin is trying to create this trans-portal dimensional thingamabiggy and it's starting to crash the universe. And what's happening is Spider-Man from different universes come into this world and they all have to try and stop the Kingpin. This movie has multiple characters, multiple villains, multiple angles, and yet this thing probably has more content in it than Spider-Man 3, yet it works so much better. And it's because it's an animated movie. You can move things along, but also keep as much detail as you can onto events in an animated movie, and they do it so well. There is so many moments in this film. You are just hooked. Whether it's from watching Miles kind of learn the ways of being a Spider-Man and trying to deal with his own inner issues with his dad and just his rite of passage and whatnot, or the other Spider-Men who are going through their own emotional issues, as well as even freaking Kingpin. There is an actual arc with the Kingpin almost. Admittedly, it doesn't really follow his character from what we've seen in Daredevil, but it is still an arc. And this is so well carried out because there's three directors on this film. These guys were able to focus on each individual part of their own creation and mold it together to build something absolutely incredible. There's a lot of people who also worked on this film. Lord and Miller also worked on this film. And you can see with this the humor and the kind of the kidness of it, but also the maturity of the film. And again, going back to the animation, just on one little thing, I loved how it moved. It moves almost like stop motion at times, but then there's parts where it's so fluid that I almost thought it was real. I thought it was mocap at points. I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't, but if it is, done with this animation studios? Holy shit guys, like again, just phenomenal. The soundtrack too, holy crap. This is such a good soundtrack. And there's one montage near the end that just had me just tapping my foot, nodding my head. I was so into this movie. The humor is fantastic. The portrayals of Spider-Man, all the Spider-Men, including Gwen Stacy, uh, Gwen uh, Spider-Woman, she was great too. And just everything about this movie is really good. If you are a fan of Spider-Man, you should watch it. If you're a fan of very good animation, and Spider-Man, I would definitely require that you watch this. This blew me away. I knew it was gonna be good, I was already invested in just how the film looked, but this is phenomenal. Good job, Sony. You finally didn't fuck up. They finally have something good, and now I bet you they're going to milk the shit out of it. I am very happy to give Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse a 7 out of 7. Thank God. I thought I was going to go the whole year without giving a 7 out of 7 to a 2018 release. I know I gave one to I, Tonya, but that technically was released at the end of 2017. So, I'm very happy to finally give a movie a 7. So, there we go. Good fucking job, guys. 
I can't wait to see what you guys do next. And once again, doing a shout out for Camp Death 3 in 2D. This is a film that I got to see a preview of, which was pretty funny. It's a terrible, bad horror movie, but it's purposely made that way. And the film is coming out on Amazon Prime on February 15th. If you guys want to know any more information about the movie, I have left a link to their Facebook page in the description below. Give it a look. It's really stupid, but it's really funny, and it's purposely made that way. So maybe give it a gander. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys next time.